I'm David Brown, CEO and co-founder of Broadbit Batteries, and I'm here to talk to you today about revolutionary battery technology we're commercializing based on common cheap raw materials. First, a few words about the market. This is today about a 60 to 70 billion dollar market for rechargeable batteries, but that is expected to grow in the next decade to decade and a half to more than a trillion due to, for instance, electric vehicles and grid stabilization due to renewable energies. That is being driven a lot by regulation, and the big news recently was that Germany was going to outlaw internal combustion engines by 2030, but other nations are actually outlawing that sooner, even 2025. But existing batteries today can't meet those needs. They're far too expensive. They're far too slow to charge. They're of limited capacity. They're too short-lived and have to be replaced too often. They're too heavy and reduce performance of vehicles. They're dangerous and explode. And they're resource limited because they're based on rare earth metals like lithium and cobalt. In short, they're too high cost, too low performance, and of limited scalability. What Broadbit has done is invented a revolutionary battery uh, technology based on a brand new innovation. We use salt, table salt, sodium chloride, to store energy. It's the first battery in the world that does that, and it's actually extremely high performance, better than the best lithium ion on the market today. The other main ingredients are equally cheap. Essentially, we make batteries out of dirt. Uh, in addition to their cheapness, due to the abundant materials, we have unprecedented performance. I have here a graph of the competing batteries. For instance, LCO batteries are what's used in Tesla, the world's best batteries. We're better than them in the lab already. Um, we also have simple manufacturing. Our batteries are non-flammable and robust. They can survive a wider temperature range. And these are third-party verified, for instance, by Fraunhofer Institute in Germany and a number of customers. That adds up to extremely high performance, extremely low cost, 50% uh, the cost per kilowatt hour of existing lithium ion batteries. There are competitors out there. There are people making lithium ion batteries better, but at extremely high cost. And there are people doing ulterior chemistries with cheaper raw materials, but always at lower performance. Broadbit is the only company that can both improve performance and lower cost. That means that there are brand new markets open for batteries that didn't exist before. We are, for instance, exhibiting here at the Airbus booth, one of our partners to make electric airplanes. This is sufficiently low cost to finally replace, uh, to allow grid storage for grid stabilization and to replace the 150-year-old lead-acid battery in cars. Um, our go-to-market plan is to start with niche products, for instance, onboard units, uh, aftermarket products in cars, uninterrupted power supplies and drones, and then moving on to the first trillion dollar market, which is electric vehicles, and then the second multi-trillion dollar market, which is grid storage. Our business is simple. We uh, control our magic sauce, which is the battery components, and sell those on to assembly by third parties. Thank you, David. And give it up for David. And please now, the jury, the questions. Very interesting. Have you tested at scale, or are you still in the lab? What's we the, are at what's this the stage, largest, What's the largest battery you've made? We can make batteries, 18650 standard batteries. I have one in my pocket here that you can play with. So this is what we're making now. These are made by hand at the moment, but th by the end of next year, we'll be producing about 150,000 a year of those. The next year, we'll be producing multi-million. Uh, question, so have you ever sh basically showed this battery to some of the large producers, like, you know, like Tesla or anybody on the market? Like, uh, what, the, what let's, feedback? Let's say the only marketing we've done is occasional pitches like this. And we are in contact with virtually every major automotive and battery manufacturer in the world, and they have found us. We have not found them. OK, so what was the feedback from these kind of large corporations? Um, they need it. <laughs> Sell it to us. So. Cool. So what's the plan now in the next six to nine months? Where do you want to be then? Yeah, so we're finishing up R&D. Uh, we are now at about 200 cycles for our battery, so we have to reach about 500 cycles before we go to market. As a reference, a year ago, we were at 10 cycles. So uh, we think in a few months, we'll be able to reach the 500. We're already sourcing our manufacturing equipment for our components. Those will be installed middle to late next year, and we'll start producing at the end of next year. Where? First production will be in Finland. Next production, who knows where. Uh, what was the team like? So we have uh, all experienced entrepreneurs, all experienced engineers and scientists. Um, myself, I have a, this is my sixth startup company. I've raised and managed about 40 million euros. I have about 250 patents to my name. Andras Kovacs is our CTO. This is his second startup. He's already had one exit. Um, Tapani Alasarella, this is also his second startup. And David Lloyd, the Finland's best electrochemist. 
So, can you talk a bit more about the business model? So you said you kind of let others assemble, assemble the, the battery. Why that? Is that? Yeah. So the, our secret sauce is in the is the battery components and the chemistry. Um, the assembly can be done by third parties with existing lithium ion equipment. So there's no reason for us at this point to invest in that. That's actually the most cost cost intensive part of the of the production process is the assembly. So that take that's a 50 to 100 million factory million minimum. We can build our component factory for about five million. So the final so the the final product. Do you sell it to uh, clients or is them? Selling so we it? sell both ways. We can either sell using white label manufacturers and sell under our brand, or sell components to sell under uh, existing brands. So what would you say is the core innovation here? What, what, what makes this special? I mean, salt and coal is everywhere. Yes. What did you do to make that a battery? We figured out how to make a battery out of it. Simple tell, as that. Tell, tell me more. So the basic concept is we started with the periodic table and crossed off every element that was expensive, hard to get, toxic, or dangerous. And what was left, we thought about how to make a battery from that. <laughs> and, and what's the core invention? The core invention is the use of sodium chloride on the cathode side uh, and metallic sodium on the anode side, both of which are extremely high energy density and, and also the use of a new electrolyte that has very high electromobility, about five to seven times more than lithium ion. So I will probably just rephrase this question a little bit. So what stops other producers, like in, I don't know, like guys in China from doing the same type of battery? Patents now? and know-how. So we have one patent granted, we have about another 20 inventions in the pipeline, and we have some key know-how that we will not put in patents that we keep to ourselves. And the business model is we make the special sauce ourselves, we don't license that out, and we license out the assembly and the other processes that are less uh, liable to be stolen. All right, that's it for the question. Thank you so much, David. Thank you.